Hello YouTube, Komodo Gaming here, bringing you another episode of Scrap Mechanic. Today's episode is going to take place in our post-apocalyptic world, or really whatever you want to call this. I, I'm going to have to rethink what I'm doing here, and I'll explain that here in a second. But there's our new vehicle. I'll show you this vehicle here in a second. I want to go over the whole fact that we have changed something. I am no longer using mods in the game. So here's the Zombie Buster. That was Friday's episode. I've gone in, I've stripped out all the mod parts, put vanilla pieces on, I reinstalled the game, make sure everything works, so when you download this world, you should be able to play it, don't worry about mods, you just stick it in the game, and it's good to go. So I'm really happy that I finally just decided to do that. I've been having a lot of issues, and I've missed a spot here. But yeah, I've been having a lot of issues with comments, and people, you know, having all sorts of problems, and I, I, I got to where I was like, you know, I really need to just go back to the vanilla game, so... Here's this. Uh, I built some structures in here. It's kind of going along with that uh, post-apocalyptic theme here. You've got a house over here, and I put the little help SOS on top of it. It's uh, I don't really know like how detailed I'm going to go. I'm going to try to spread things uh, throughout the map, but here's our new enemy. And I don't know why on Friday I said the zombie buster. I was like, oh, this is a zombie survival map. There's no zombies in the game. But there's eventually going to be these creepy things. These are the farm bots, and these things creep the hell out of me. These uh, The only thing we have are the heads right now, and they only make noise, but they, they, look, they look weird. I mean, they're, they're kind of scary. So that's what this theme is now about, and I'm going to build off of this theme. So I'm going to do structures in this uh, map. I'm going to do more vehicles, kind of like survival vehicles, so... Here's the house. I haven't put an interior in there yet. I'll figure out what I'm going to do for that. Of course, you can see the help SOS. Kind of like a creepy vibe to it. Here's the... I started a McDonald's restaurant here. Or do we call those? No, maybe just call it a fast food joint. But yeah, I took some pictures. I didn't do the interior on this one yet. I need to go in and fix that. I think I've got the exterior about where I want it. Now, I turned the grass back up. And we'll go over that here in a second. I made... I, I couldn't really think of a way to make this building look destroyed besides removing some parts. But it looks old. It looks like it's been abandoned. So I let the grass actually come up through the map. And because uh, initially I started playing with it without the grass when I was doing structures. But now I'm going to let it grow up. Make it look like it's just, you know, it's been setting there for a while. So like I said, I've been playing. I was playing on off right here. And of course, like if you wanted to do this and just. I don't know, paint, uh, get rid of the SOS and help, you'd have a little town started here. But yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna stick with the survival mode thing that we're doing, so. That's what it looks like without the grass, we're gonna go ahead and crank it up. You can go really crazy with it, just depending on, like, how, how you want it. This doesn't really seem to affect the frames that much, to be honest with you. So, I think I'm gonna keep mine, I think the medium looks probably the best. But yeah, I've got that. I built a shell station down here, and if none of maybe a couple of you've caught on, a lot of people have suggested these structures, these buildings. Um, so that's what I want to hear below. Comment. Tell me what kind of, type of buildings you want to see in here. Structures. Uh, I mean, you don't have to be buildings. It can be just random things. Vehicles. I, I want to fill this map up, and I want it to look really cool, and I want it to go with theme, but. I actually did, I did go in here and finish the inside of this one, so you've got just the counters, some shelves, you got the uh, fridges on the walls. I think it looks pretty good. I'm still trying to figure out how to make some of these buildings look destroyed, but I think this looks pretty cool. The, uh, the sign out here actually came out pretty good, so I'm happy with that. I need to do another awning for like diesels, because this awning's probably only going to fit cars. I noticed that a while ago when I was uh, driving this big truck around. But yeah, I'm really I'm really pleased with the way this building came out. But uh, that's going to kind of lead me. Uh, we had an update, of course, with the glass blocks. You see I'm using them. There's been some UI issues with this. Uh, I've had the UI actually switch around a couple times. I had it where I was uh, driving around the vehicle. And then when I got out, I still had the buttons on the bottom. So, you know, it's been kind of strange. So hopefully I don't have any issues. Here's the new vehicle that we built. Uh, it's a armored like gas tanker I'm using the same suspension setup and the reason I'm not going to show myself building this 
Uh, I'm going to stray, that's going to be, I'm going to stray away from that for some episodes. And it makes it to where I can go in here and I can really start getting more things out to you guys. Uh, more world updates and everything. But yeah, this runs off the uh, gas powered, or actually no, these are electric motors on this one. You've got those. I'm not, I'm avoiding using the suspension parts in the game because they really eat up frames. So we're using this and I've missed some parts here. Let me go back in and correct those. It's weird, every time I start like playing with one of these, I notice something that I miss. This one's only got really one like defense on it, and it's the front. You can see uh, there's the where everything's powered. But up there at the top, that's going to be running back to the electric motor. So when you drive forward, it's going to spin that blade. So say if there was, you know, if there was actual farm bots in the way, you just run them over and chop them up. So I think it's pretty cool. It's a, like I say, it's just a series of vehicles that I want to do in here. So, uh, you know, that's that's why I want to get the community or my viewers involved and kind of see what you guys want to see in this particular world. I know I'm going to get, I always get like a bunch of random suggestions for like, hey, you need to build this, hey, you need to build that, but I want to try to keep themes, I want to finish worlds. And that also brings up the fact, get another look at the webbing here. Uh, that brings up another fact about the farm world, and I'm probably going to have to abandon that world. I uh, looked at it and I thought maybe I was going to be able to go back and get rid of the mod pieces, but there's so many of them. I can't, I, it would take me forever and I don't know if I'd get them all. So I'm going to avoid, like this is the primary world we're working on. But anyways, let's look at that. Uh, look at the vehicle a little bit more. Using the same back suspension that we used on the zombie buster. So if you really want to see this, this, this suspension being made, you can go back and watch that episode. I don't even think I went into great detail on that one, to be honest with you. The best thing for me to learn, like when I want to make stuff, is I'll download somebody's world and then just really pick it apart. So that's what I would suggest you do if you want to learn how to do some of these suspension parts. But yeah. And also, I should probably note that's not my suspension. Like that's, uh, it was two episodes before. I'm trying to remember all my episodes here. And, uh, we call him HKI. He came up with this, and it's really, it works fantastic on all these builds. So, anyways, this is what it looks like on the outside. Let's go ahead and give this thing a little go here. Got the uh, two buttons, the only thing they're mapped to, it's just the roof and the uh, the doors. Like I said, the blade in the front is actually powered by the motors, so you don't have to worry about turning it on and off. Uh, one thing that I've seen, it's made me laugh every time I see the comment, because I've, I've answered it a couple times, and it was for the uh, Combine Harvester build. And I didn't notice the repeat button for or the loop button for the uh, controller. I know that's there, guys. I I, I need to go back. I, I've answered it a couple times, but it, it appears every day. And I'm like, man, did no, does nobody else read any of the comments around here? But yeah, uh, this is like I said, this one's not on a controller. I thought it'd be better to have it when you hit the gas and it spins, and then it just stops when you let off. But this vehicle handles good. It's a a little top heavy, of course. I mean, it's it's really it really is a tall vehicle, and it's kind of heavy I don't uh, I've been using concrete more now and that has saved me some uh, if you watch any of my other builds you know I, I was really like I love to use metal so we're not doing that at the moment like I said with this gas station I really need to build another awning because this thing wouldn't fit under it um, thinking over to the left side of it we'll build like a diesel awning so we'll have that but yeah this actually took a while I mean there's not a whole lot here but there is I mean, if that makes any sense to you guys, like, uh, there's going to be, and I'm, I'm getting this done in chunks and that's why it's harder for me to record me like going into detail with some of the buildings and stuff. And that's stuff that I honestly, I wouldn't want to see. So I don't expect you guys to want to see that. So well, let's see, I'm trying to figure out where I'm going to go with this. Like I said, that's, this is like one of those builds. I really want input. I really want to hear what you guys want to see. And I can't stress that enough. I know I've repeated it several times during this video. I want to see, like, I want to hear from you guys. Um, I've already had, I'm ta I've already taken some uh, suggestions from the zombie buster video. So I've got some of that pinned down, uh, but I want to hear more. Uh, I always get like people ask all the time and, Oh, we're going to tip this over. There it goes. Luckily, I think I can get out of this one pretty easy. I think we'll just do the, can the door tip it? Maybe the roof. But anyways, I, I get requested a lot of times to build just random structures. And that's where I'm going to be able to fit a lot of this in. 
Um, I typically don't. I did it once with the farmhouse and even the rescue world. I typically don't don't make videos just about like, oh, here's the building I built. I built this one thing. I uh, I like to give like clusters. Like most of the times, I'll build like a complete vehicle build. But I'm gonna move on this for this series. I'm gonna move more to like clusters, and I can release like every time you're gonna get a video, you're gonna get a big cluster. You're gonna get the next chunk of the world, and I'll just keep updating it from there. But let's hop back in here. But yeah, this is, I mean, like I said, this might not be, might not look a lot, like a lot to some people, but this took a while. Like I said, those buildings, I really want to, I'm going to go into the interiors and make them as detailed as possible. I'm going to add more. I don't know if I'm going to do a street here. I, I thought about initially like doing a street and those are always a pain in the butt because for whatever reason, when you like make like a road or something, I've had that happen several times when I had like concrete tracks Scrap Mechanics really doesn't like those. Like, the, the cars start bouncing and you get a lot of lag. So I'm not sure how I'm going to do that. But, yeah, that's probably about it. I think I've covered everything I wanted to cover today. Like I said, the download is in the description below. So check that out. Let me know what you think. Um, I'm liking the direction we're going here. I'm liking what's going on. It's been crazy. I made my 5,000 subs video on Sunday. And today, as I'm doing this, we're at like 6,400. I mean, that's that's nuts. Uh, by the time that 5,000 subs video came out, I was already, I think, like 5,800. So, yeah, I don't really know what to say there. Uh, well, besides thank you, obviously, but something's... See, uh, yep, the UI did it again. You can see uh, I've got the vehicle buttons when I really... Uh, I should have my inventory... Uh, that's not the first time I've heard this complaint, so hopefully that gets fixed, but, uh, yeah, we need to find a place to take a screenshot, but, yeah, anyways, comment below, let me know what you think, let me know what you want to see, uh, tomorrow we have a viewer request, or, or a viewer build going, it's from an actual channel, I'm gonna point you guys out to them, because they are doing some absolutely fantastic scrap mechanic work, and they really need some, some love, so, I'll, uh, have that up tomorrow, we'll have more of this by the end of the week, some beam NG, and just, Having fun, we're just kind of playing it by ear, see what I have time to do and what I can get out for you guys. So, hope you enjoyed it, and we'll see you guys next time. Thank you.